Today we're going to use a combo of cauliflower rice and brown rice and it really makes it, I would say, the perfect um, kind of compromise. Right. I love uh, cauliflower rice mm -hmm. or cauliflower mash and a yeah. lot of people do but sometimes you don't get kind of that hearty feeling that you're actually having like a, a carb in there so you're infusing a healthy carb into the mix with the brown rice. Absolutely and it really did give it um, speaking of texture you know yeah. and just um, it, it really it really just kind of bumped it up a little bit and I love to use um, boil in a bag rice and so it makes it so easy so I just have one bag of brown rice cooked and then whichever brand of cauliflower rice you like out of and this is frozen um, I just cooked it in the bag for two minutes um, but you also sometimes can find cauliflower rice in the produce department in a right. bag and you're welcome to use that too so all right I know this is kind of splashing you got it popping I got it popping so we are stir frying so we got to have some high heat so what I did is um, put in about a quarter cup of olive oil and I have a tablespoon of I just buy the the minced garlic and the gar fresh ginger already done. So I just want to cook. I know I don't want to get you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. <laughs> so we just want to cook it for about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to burn, um, but let those uh, the garlic and the ginger get in that oil for about 30 seconds before we. Um, add our veggies and so veggies any ones you want but today I'm using uh, shredded carrots about a cup of those and uh, half a container so it's about four ounces of mushrooms that I just sliced up thin and then I bought one of those cute little bags of the colorful peppers right and uh, just cut those into rings but you could use of course whatever veggies you like in here and of course you could add a protein but the the veggies in this and we're gonna add a little bit of protein with the eggs um, it's just kind of nice sometimes to have a meatless dinner or sure. lunch so an option for you for meatless, an option mm -hmm. if you want to add a chicken or pork or steak mm -hmm. into it, you can do shrimp, you can do that yeah. as well. Smells so good in here that ginger really gives it that, yeah. that fried rice smell to it. Mm -hmm. So All we're right. just going to let this go for a few minutes and then we'll keep going. So supper will be ready quickly. We will be back to continue this in just a bit. We are still sizzling and popping and <laughs> frying away here in our Studio 10 kitchen with Lucy from Greer's. Tell the folks what you're working on. We're working on our veggie fried rice. You're right. We're on high heat and what we have already done is we put some olive oil in the pan and some fresh ginger and some fresh garlic and then we added our veggies to our veggie fried rice. So we have mushrooms in here, some carrots and also some sliced up bell peppers and this is a great way to use up whatever you have in the fridge. Any veggies would be great in here. These are just the ones I chose today. So we have let these cook um, just for a few minutes. It's been about three or four minutes. And so I'm going to move these veggies over so we can scramble our eggs. Do you like sure. eggs and fried rice? Absolutely. Gotta, you got to have them. I know. There. I like them too. And I'm just using two today. Um, but you could absolutely use more. And you could, of course, omit them as well. So I'm just whisking them up with a little fork. And we'll just scramble them right here in the pan. Again, this is high heat. This is a nonstick pan, so um, we shouldn't have any trouble here. And this is something that comes together so quick. We're using shortcuts today. Mm -hmm. We're using cauliflower rice out of the frozen food department and boil in a bag brown rice. So it's super simple to put this together. Fried rice was always one of my um, favorite go-to meals when I was in culinary school because I would get home late from working in the restaurants or being at school and it's something that I could just do really quickly. It is such a quick, easy, great dish to make that will fill you up for sure, especially with the way we're doing it mm -hmm. with adding that brown rice to it. Hey, while you're working on that, yeah. tell the folks a little bit about the different shopping options at Greer's because there are so many different ways that you can get your groceries nowadays and you want the folks to know that Greer's has all of them available. Absolutely. We have curbside pickup options. So that just means if you want to place your order online, we have a free Greer's app that you can do that. And and we will pick the groceries for you and bring it out to your car, no charge. And then we also have delivery options. We use Instacart and Ship. And um, actually, a new addition now, um, we are able to take EBT payments wow. online now. Um, Alabama uh, was a little bit slow to get that here for us. But finally, um, it is here. So if you are... Um, 
if you are looking for retailers that are able to to take EBT, we certainly take that too. And um, and we also have our weekly sale prices available online as well. So it's, it's a great way to save time and money. And if you haven't shopped online with us, um, they'll, be, they'll be enjoying uh, seeing somebody else's name besides mine. <laughs> That is fantastic. So many different options, too, and you should mention several of your locations are technically Greer's cash saver locations as well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's just a way for us to have a, a competitive price. You know, you can shop for groceries anywhere nowadays, um, so we're thankful to be able to offer all of our communities a competitive price that, that competes with any big box store or even online. So um, we'd love for everyone to shop with us. Especially in today's ever-changing economy, good to yes. have the option that's right for you or your family. We are adding our brown and our cauliflower mm -hmm. rice here. We'll continue to work on this. When we come back, are we going to plate this bad boy up? Yeah, we're going to add our last seasonings and it'll be ready to eat. Sounds good. We have such a fun dish in the kitchen today and a healthy dish at mm -hmm. that. It is cauliflower and brown rice fried rice with veggies along with Lucy from Greer's. Lucy, good to see you as always. Thank you. This has been a fun one and it is so easy and I'm just adding the last ingredient. So like you said, we have our cauliflower rice, our brown rice, we have mushrooms, carrots, and bell peppers. We flavored it up with some, uh, I lost track. I hope that was three. We're supposed to have three tablespoons of soy that sauce. That is three. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and we flavored it up with some fresh ginger and fresh garlic and it's come together quick so I'm just adding in some soy sauce and some sriracha that was three tablespoons of soy sauce one tablespoon of sriracha and our finishing touch well I just had some chives in the refrigerator but um, you could use that or just a couple green onions just thrown in here at the end for color and we are ready to cool this off and pack it for our lunch boxes all week or mm -hmm. serve it um, serve it for dinner or lunch so it's really easy and and feel you can feel good about eating this one cilantro parsley a couple other green options if you want to add yep. some color to that yep. we should point out a couple of culinary tactics that you use first and foremost important that since you added the garlic and the ginger at the beginning you don't let that go too long because you don't want it to burn correct correct and then also because you added the sriracha and the soy sauce at the end you kind of want to do that to add that hint of flavor at the end you don't want it to overpower or dominate the dish by adding it to early or anything like that. That's absolutely right. Now you can see the, the red and the brown soy sauce just gave it uh, an extra rich color. Yeah. And um, it looks just like regular rice. One time, um, like I said, I make cauliflower fried rice a lot. And Spiro said, I actually prefer the cauliflower rice. I'm like, easy killer. Like, <laughs> I'll go for regular rice any day of the week, but I really like this combination that we talked about um, with the cauliflower rice and the brown rice. It is really, it's really worth trying out there. So hopefully everybody enjoys it. Well, that's the thing about having a family compromise, right? Compromise. <laughs> that's right. There you go. All right. So you've got a plated version yes. right here so you can see the finished dish. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. Check online for your Wednesday deals, right? Absolutely. All Follow right. us on social. And this recipe you can find on the Studio 10 tab at Fox 10 TV.com along with their website Greer's. We'll have all that posted online. Lucy, thank you so much. And thank when we come next week, we're talking about Labor Day. That's yes. going to be fun. It will be fun. Hard to believe we're there and football too. Yeah. All right. Good <laughs> stuff. We'll see you next week, Lucy.